Hi YouTubers, welcome to my video and today I'm just going to show you how to change the selenite if you have got error P0011 and I'm going to show you how to replace the camshaft position selenoid valve right okay so so replacing the selenoid should be the last things after you have changed the oil because sometimes uh, if you see that your car doesn't have power and drinks a lot of fuel so uh, you are losing mileage that is the time to have a look at oil first and then if oil is good or you have replaced it and uh, you still don't have uh, enough power for your car then that you are gonna look at uh, this selenite sometimes it's just needs cleaning or sometimes it might be something electronics so you need to find an electrician to have a look at your car so stay tuned and I'm gonna show you step by step so there are two sensors one located here this is for exhaust and another one located in the back there so this is the bolt we need to remove it's just here you want to pull this yellow outside just like that and push it in to remove right so this is the sensor two pin sensor so what you need it is just 1.4 uh, cord socket to remove that uh, solenoid there it's very easy uh, if your car even if it is uh, old cars it should be very easy to remove it is very small bolt but you need to be very very careful once you remove it because this is engine the bolt might fall uh, and you might not be able to to get the replacement and you need your car so be very careful make sure that you have like a magnet or you can put uh, something like a rug underneath or you can I mean use your skill to remove it so as you can see this should come out uh, very easy if you don't have a space I mean it depends what tools you're using so sometimes you don't have enough uh, room behind so you need to find something which is small to use to remove that okay so as you can see we are able to remove ours now it is time just to replace to remove the I mean the selenite and then to replace with the new one now the next part is not very difficult it, it should take maybe about uh, one to two minutes now you need to be a dentist now because this one to come out you need something like a plier and as the dentist uh, do so just do like that just you're like you're pulling a tooth out from someone's mouth this should take like a one one minute or maybe two minutes okay right so uh, after jiggling around and uh, now I'm aim able to remove it right. so for the part number I'm gonna show you the part number on the description there right so it so looks okay it looks great I mean uh, I've not done any test but uh, I prefer just to replace it because it cost only 11 pound anyway. next step is just to install the new one which is this is our new sensor and it's the same so let's put all the way here all the way right so just gonna make sure this has gone all the way So the difficult part is to put this bulb back it looks great so uh, after you have put the uh, bolt back just uh, try to tighten it so if you don't have a magnet just use uh, a cello tape and uh, hold that bolt with the cello tape as I did so everything is fine 
and the stable I'm gonna put the uh, connection back and uh, you can now clear the code and see if uh, your problem has improved one more thing so I'm just gonna let you know you see like uh, I've touched the uh, the house here those are coolant holes you need to be very careful because uh, what happened is after I've done everything and I could see my coolant was leaking so I realized that maybe the time I was trying to put everything's back I might have uh, uh, cracked one of the of the holes and uh, I was very very confused however I was able to because it was Sunday imagine so I needed my car so uh, this is the strange things which I've done uh, I've ordered the part anyway it cost about uh, eight pound and uh, what I've done is I went to Halford and uh, got a fuel pipe or hose and uh, I replaced the the broken one just for a few days and the car is working there's no leak so in the next video I'm gonna show you how to replace throttle body inlet hose which I have broken it uh, you need to be very careful when you do this DIY yourself so hopefully this video helps and if you've got any question if you wanna know any parts number it's already on the video but you can still ask and stay tuned for the next video how to replace the in inlet hose for Voxel Zafira and the Chevrolet Orlando so please don't forget to subscribe thank you